with Easter right around the corner. And I've got a lot of requests for this. It's time to make the pizza rustica. Oh, look at this. Look at it. <gasps> so good. So easy to make. It takes forever in the oven though, not gonna lie. Oh, but it's amazing. Let's see how we do it. Just keep watching. Yum. For a full copy of today's recipe, as well as the drink, check us out on Facebook at Poppy's Cucina. We'll see you there. Thanks. All right, so for this recipe, in a medium-sized bowl, you're going to um, add four large eggs, and now we're going to whip this up till they're whipped. <laughs> Next up, we're going to add two cups of whole milk ricotta, along with your salt and pepper to taste. I like to use the fresh cracked black pepper. It gives a lot more pops of flavor. But you can use regular pepper if you want. Now we're going to mix this up. And once you have it all mixed up, lastly, we're going to add one cup of diced fresh mozzarella, one cup of shredded provolone, half a cup of diced pepperoni, half a cup of diced pancetta. And then we're going to add two cups of cooked diced Italian sausage. You know, sausage had to be in here somewhere, right? So now we're just going to mix this all up. So everything is all nice and covered. Mmm, taste it already. So here I have my six inch spring form pan that I sprayed thoroughly with a non-stick cooking spray. Then I added a sheet of parchment paper and then I sprayed that too. Now we're gonna line this with um, our pre-made pie crust that I bought in the store. I bought the Pillsbury. You can make your own, very nice to make your own, but <laughs> so much easier. So now I'm gonna line it with the pie dough. Just like that. And now we're going to fill our ricotta mixture right into the middle. Right to the top. Should we press down to make sure you don't get any air pockets in there. Does that look amazing already? Yes. Yes, it does. All right. Press it down. And now we're going to top it with the other pie crust. So fun. Just like that, we cut off the excess and we fold it down the edges. Next, we're going to give it a little bit of a, an egg wash. Then we're going to make a little incision in the center, just for ventilation purposes. Like that. And then into a preheated 350 uh, degree oven, 350, for about 75 minutes. You can see it's become beautifully golden brown. The inside's gonna be all nice and cooked. <gasps> and it's gonna be amazing. And this thing weighs a ton. I know you're like, oh, that's a little one, but it's gonna be so thick. Look at the thickness of this. <laughs> and it's gonna be amazing. And you don't have to give big slabs, although you're gonna to wanna to eat the big slabs. <laughs> so into the oven, it's gonna go uncovered. Uh, 75 minutes. We'll see it later. So our pizza rustica is still in the oven and we still have a lot of time to kill. <laughs> I wonder what we should do. Hmm. Oh my kitty, it's a perfect time for a cup. Yeah! Ah. All right, so for today's peach bellini margarita, we're gonna start with two ounces of peach schnapps. Two. One ounce of limoncello. It's really gonna brighten it up a little bit. Two ounces of tequila. One and a half ounces of margarita mix. And then we're gonna do one and a half ounces of peach bellini mix. Or you can use peach puree or peach juice. All right, so we're gonna give this a good shaky shaky. And we pour. Let's see how it looks, let's see how it looks. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. That's very, very pretty. What a good springtime cocktail that is. Let's see, let's see, did I fill it? Oh, look at that, perfect. Still got it. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Cheers. Mmm, <sighs> that's so yummy. Oh, it's almost creamy. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's like, it's a peach bellini margarita. It's exactly what it sounds like. It has this peach. It's got the tart. We're getting a nice hints of the limoncello. <gasps> oh, this is lovely. I think I got my Easter cocktail. I think this is what I'm making a picture of. Good times. Ooh, I'll throw some fresh raspberries in this for garnish. <gasps> That'd be nice. Ooh. All right, so if you try this drink recipe, let us know. Thanks for watching. All right, so an hour and 15 minutes later, it's out of the oven. Look at it. Doesn't that look great? <gasps> that looks so yummy. Oh, I can't wait to try it. But it's going to settle a little bit, you're going to see. And then we're going to allow it to cool in the pan for about an hour. 
and then we'll pop it out and we'll see if it's cool enough to try. <gasps> Yum. Yum. So, surprise to me, when I took it out of the spring form pan, I saw the sides still weren't fully cooked. So, back in the oven, it's going to go probably for about another 15 minutes. So, this is an hour and a half cook time, probably. <laughs> but it smells so good! Okay, so the additional 15 minutes did the trick. So, it took an hour and a half to cook. <laughs> Lolo, it's got to cool before you can try it, okay? It's got to cool. It's got to cool. It's going to be too hot. It's going to burn your mouth, okay? So we're gonna let this bad boy cool, then we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> all right, so we cut it up. It's time to give it a try. Look at all that meat. Oh, look, the cheese oozing. Yum. I can't wait. One up tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> So cheesy and creamy. And all that meat, the banchette, the, the sausage, all those hints of the pepper, on the pepperoni. Oh, it's so good. So good. You have to make this for Easter. You have to. But don't wait for Easter. Make it right now. <laughs> oh, it's such a delicious meat pie. Um, mm, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. <laughs> so if you try this recipe, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks! Wow, this is amazing. Oh, so good. Oh, hello, Doug. Are you waiting for your piece? Lulu, are you waiting for yours? You two drink. You're waiting for it. All right, peace for everybody. That'll be so good. Yay! Pizza rustica for all. Yum.